So Flash is being called as a disaster Varun. What do you have to say? Yeah. Box office wise. Uh, I I you know I do think that there is some level of like superhero fatigue going on and that like i was seeing that all the live action superhero films like they are underperforming um most of them even even okay. the good ones like uh, guardians of the galaxy 3 which was the one i think which got a lot of good reviews and good word of mouth but even that is like underperforming than whatever was expected while on the other hand spider verse was like uh, even though it did not have like uh, there were not big expectation but it is it's still like overperformed than what was expected at box office so in general you know even smaller films like uh, creed 3 which is like uh, it's you know it's comparatively like lower budget than most superhero films so even that overperformed so uh, a lot of other films are actually overperforming but superhero films in general are underperforming so i feel like some level of superhero fatigue has finally like set in i guess so i think guardians is still i think some around 800 million i think they still mm-hmm. would be happy but some of these like yeah. films have not even recovered their money and that's i think mm-hmm. a shazam big thing is, yeah shazam 2 yeah uh, you know big flop i think ant man also like we don't really they disney doesn't really tell all these numbers a lot about like how much it cost them and yeah. all that but like that film has been in you know in production for 3 years and i think they change uh I, I like Kang was it was the first movie. this right first movie in phase five five I, right it was yeah. supposed to set up everything and you know like it was supposed to be the next big Marvel movie or nothing really happened like it yeah uh, and like and then yeah it did case not happen it it I think it did almost same as like Shazam two at box office so it's I don't think it's a you know, I think it did more like, it did around four four hundred million but you would expect yeah. from this kind of film to do at least eight hundred one million you know in a franchise third film in a franchise yeah. is like very big like it has to be double of what the first film did but yeah I think uh, there is a decline. But I think for DC it's very important because Shazam 2 already failed. Sh- yeah. Flash so much high best superhero movie all of that and horrible performance. <laughs> Then you have Blue Beetle coming in, Aquaman coming in and you know before Superman Legacy. I think it's mm. a big uphill task for DC. For yeah. what do you do? Why is the police coming? Oh yaar. You did it you know made the mouse angry. <laughs> <laughs> So now this is the real taste of this new regime you know the DC studios mm-hmm. the Warner Brothers discovery because in the past DC whenever something goes wrong panic at panic 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 pivot change change change, change, change. <laughs> so now this is their you know testing times that now things are not working will they again do that panic and thing and change things or will they just keep going let's see take their time and build up what you have tried trying to do with James yeah. Gunn and Peter Safran instead of just no no change everything what you did and because already people are blaming James Gunn for everything <laughs> and there i think inside report also that uh, some executives at WB are not happy that James Gunn announced his project because that undermined the already films were supposed to come out mm. so he should have he shouldn't have done that so like you should have know. waited until like flash yeah. and everything flash Flash, Aquaman, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, that's a real test. Let's see what they do. Superhero fatigue, I think, is finally happening because I think it's also the movies, right? It's not like the movies are outstanding, but no one is watching them. Yeah. Spider Verse was the best film, superhero film that came exactly. out, right? Exactly. You no, know, the best of the year, and it got yeah. it's doing so well. You know, people are loving it. Yes. So I think if you make good films, mediocrity is, you know, I think even some time ago, mediocrity was getting a reward. You know, and yeah, now that has like, stopped. Yeah. Well, Venom one, Venom two, these became yeah. hit like. <laughs> That's the biggest sign. That, Morbius. You know. <laughs> Morbius flopped, so that's that yeah. was good. Was well, released three times, right? So <laughs> <laughs> now there is what Craven the Hunter. Yeah. Probably. Oh man, we reacted. Actually, did a reaction to the trailer, and it was so bad. I'm like, I'm not even editing and putting it out. Sorry, guys, it was not fun. But anyways, what do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts. Uh, what's the future of superhero? Uh, you know, uh, films, movies, the thing our channel serve. Uh, you know, uh, strives on. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know and yeah, like, subscribe, keeping out.